I think everyone likes to have a few little tricks, things up the sleeve to, to work with uh, micro pellets just to give them a little bit more of an edge. I mean, I put a lot of flavourings into my micro pellets. Here at Lalford, the pellets are really good, micros are great, but I just like to be that little bit different when I'm using the pellets. I like to think that if I've got a bait in there, there's a smell there that's different to the smell that's on everybody else's pellets or no smell at all. So I tend to flavour my pellets and what I'll do is I'll, I'll put them in a bit of water and I add something, you know, like this Bonoffi High Impact, something like that. Really seems to work, just, just it's very, very strong and, it, and it, it, it just gives that little bit of an edge. But not just having an edge of having the flavour in the pellets, what I like to do, and you, you need to do this realistically at, at home more than anything. So I tend to buy some of the fishery pellets, buy more than I need and then take some home. I like to put some colourants in them. I use the mainline colourants which are absolutely fantastic, really bright colours. I use red krill and the pineapple scopex. You can see these are so bright, but what they do is they just give you those little bit of extra colours and that, just something different that's settled on the bed, whether you're actually fishing down the edge or you're fishing out and just waiting for one fish, it just gives you, I honestly think it gives you that little bit of an edge. I've caught fish on all these colours and all these flavours, so I'm confident that it works. So if it works, I'm also confident it doesn't do any harm, even when you're just fishing for one fish. And you know, we've taken a lot of tricks from the carp world, world from the specialist anglers. They, they know the score and we copy them and it seems to work. One final trick, when, once I've got the bait on my feeder, I've got the coloured pellets on the fishery pellets and give it all a squeeze. One final thing, give your bait a glug, these go straight in. Glug it off like that, look at that, absolute horrendous goo. Chuck it out, fishing down the edge at the moment, who knows, it might go, it might not. <laughs> but it's a really good way of getting that little bit of an edge. Do one thing, do them all, but just get used to the fact that flavours and colours definitely work for carp any time of the year. Give it a go, you'll be surprised. Well, that's on the old mainline Bonoffi. That stuff. <laughs> I've been catching F1s down there and I haven't had a carp for 10 or 15 minutes and this is definitely not an F1. This is a nice carp. Round the edge. Flavours just work. They really do work. And I've, I've caught so many fish on flavours that I'm confident that, you know, if you get one you like and a lot of the... Um, brands, different brands have got the same flavours. Those flavours have derived from, from carp anglers, like I said, you know, they know what works. And we should take a leaf out of their books. They've, they've been fishing for them a lot longer than we have and they fish for much cleverer ones than the ones we do because the, the big old ones are very, very cute. But look at that, that's a great example of a cracking fish. Corner, pink wafter with colourants. Look at that, beautiful fish. Put him back. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Can you believe that? The boiling drop back in the water. Unbelievable, got another one on. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm not going to try it again. 